the reintroduction of a tight end, which they haven't had since 2007, and then also quarterbacks that are comfortable in this system. Dropping back, and a pass is caught. And a long reception here by Blancato. Just have rolled to a 49-7 lead over Georgia Tech on the low snap. Graham wants to go deep, headed for the end zone, and a touchdown. The strike for Brown, the freshman from Tampa for six. From that slot position, if there's a double pass, but see what James Graham does here. Graham going to drop. Amarian Brown, the catch, first down. Shy of the 40-yard line. Devin Studstill, the tackle. 19-yard strike. I knew this day was coming, so... You know, to kind of ease in the transition. So I'm, I'm really excited about this next chapter. Got a lot of. Oh, he got him. Does hit Brown now. That's not Russ. The nice. Georgia Tech touchdown to Malachi Carter. 28 yards. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's just a loop from James Graham. I would say he's been a little frustrated with the quarterback play in general. He was excited about what James Grant could do, and that's because of things like this. Adonica Sanders has had a big day, and it continues. And some that sailed into the stands. Here's James Graham, who can really run. Turns the edge, and is pulled out of bounds by Ross at the two, first and goal. ZTN and Lynn J. Dixon up in Clemson, South Carolina. And after that, this group is in the conversation for best in the league. Graham backing up, now going to slip out, and he can run. First down, 45, slides down at the 48. But I think Georgia Tech has found the quarterback. Yeah. It, I think it's James Graham's ball from here on. The question is, around him, how can they create enough pressure? Excuse me, how can they keep him from getting pressed? He's going to have his packages. He's going to have his ability to get the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up at running back at some point just to take some snaps as well. Here goes Graham around the edge, and he'll get shoved out of bounds by Don Chapman. And Chapman was a guy that they had seen when he was recruiting for West Point. And he had family in the North Carolina area. And they called him up and said, you interested? Here's Amari Brown in stride for the touchdown. And Chapman got beat there about the speedy freshman Brown. And he's able to deliver an absolute dime on the run to Amari and Brown down the field. That's the throw that gets you excited. Nice touch on him, a long ball. We saw it a couple times against North Carolina last week. Get some confidence and some feel good here early as he gets slathered up. Graham's got an open man, Jerry Howard Jr. A touchdown of 19 yards. Georgia Tech in the end zone first. Time again on special teams. He stood out against North Carolina. Here he's getting paid off for all his hard work. And he's taking care of the Yellow Jackets who come buzzing into this football game. They strike first. Very little productivity outside of that first drive for the Yellow Jackets. Graham. The spiral over the shoulder at the 10 yard line and caught. They'll mark him out at the eight. Amari and Brown spectacular grab. He did just that and gave his quarterback a chance to drop a dime. First and goal for Graham to the goal line and he's in. Georgia Tech with a late touchdown. Eight yards on the run, James Graham. Kai Carter rather last week. Here's our on the power play. Going out and beating everybody. Big stop there. Malachi Carter. He rolled that block one more second and perhaps a touchdown. Long pass on schedule and caught. Graham and Adonica Sanders combined on this one. Wait. This is this is a throw that Graham has down. That that little fade throw with a little bit of space again. Georgia Tech has the threat of the run or the pass. Here is Graham. And he'll get the first down and out of bounds up at the 42. Back in the secondary indicates zone coverage. Graham heaves it for Marion Brown. He held on for the touchdown. What a catch by Brown. What are the Jackets going to do for it now? Nothing to show after the missed field goal last time out. There is no review. Graham unloads it. In stride and caught. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Amari and Brown at 51 yards for the...
the Jackets. First and goal from the five. That percentage last in the ACC, but they will run it right in. James Graham from five yards away. And Georgia Tech back in the end zone. Just one for seven on third down. They need this one in the worst way. Here's Graham. Side steps him in and gets more than needed. And here's another third down try for Graham. Under pressure, but he runs away from the Hokies, and he's got the first down. And that's Georgia Tech's first first down of the day. That means he's got a he's got, he does it effortlessly. Got a chance to see it right out of the shoot. Taking a shot for Malachi Carter. You bet. Inside the 20-yard line. Coach Jeff Collins said we're going to take our shots. We like the way James can throw the ball in early first play of the game. He drops it. Could be Virginia, Virginia Tech, or Pitt on the other side representing the Coastal. Graham firing over the middle for Carter again. Graham on the rollout. Slings it to the end zone and is caught. Tobias Oliver, the former quarterback, with the touchdown. The first reception for a touchdown in his career. Graham on the run, and then he follows it up with an even better pass. Joe Burrow to a tongue by Loa. Jalen Hurts, all names are going to be out in the draft pool coming up next year. Blitz from the Wolfpack on third down and nine. Graham sees it. Graham blows past it. Graham's got the touchdown. In. Either way, bad call or not, it's a touchdown for Georgia Tech. That's a great answer to what NC State did coming out of the locker room, man. Eh? Right in the read, good keep by Graham. First down and more inside the 40. Grimmage, he drops a 54-yard dime. Now in the second half, you got the defense a little bit tired. They're injured. James Graham taking it to the ground to show his elusiveness, his explosiveness, and there's a 23-yard gain for the kid.